Hello and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little card from um, the Daisy Lane stamp set. The stamp sets we will be using today to make this card are the Swirly Frames, the Forever Lovely, we will be using um, the Sentiment and then a die from this set, and on the Swirly Frames we're going to be using this larger circle. We're going to be using the fern and the larger daisy from Daisy Lane, and we will also be using this embossing folder. With these new embossing folders, they actually say Stampin' Up! on them. They don't say Sizzix like they used to in the past. And with these new embossing folders, you need to use the new blue um, embossing plate to go on top of this. Okay, let's get started on the card. This is really a cute, fast, easy card, and I'll show you, I'll keep this here so you can see what we're, what we're doing. The, the um, cardstock we'll be using, we'll be using the Gorgeous Grape cardstock for the inside, a piece of Whisper White, another piece for the circle, uh, Highland Heather, and another Gorgeous Grape to make the flower. This piece of mossy metal for the leaves and then we have these two pieces that are the base of the card one will be embossed and one we're stamping the fern on the uh, pear pizzazz and white and then I have extra little pieces um, that I actually pre-cut these were pre-cut a, a bag of flowers from the um, forever lovely stamp set you get this cute little die and it makes four flowers at a time. Oh, wonderful, gotta love that. And then I ended up taking a piece of um, silver and just die cut, I believe this was an, a half inch circle for the center of the flower. And then I die cut, or not die cut, I punched a bunch of little pieces with an eighth inch circle punch for the little teeny tiny centers of the flower. All right, with that said, let's get started on our card. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this pear pizzazz piece and we're going to run it through the embossing folder. And to run it through the embossing folder, you can just line it up anywhere on this uh, folder. No matter where you put it, it actually has a very cute look. I like to pick this little corner just because it has such a variety of texture. So run that through the Big Shot machine. and we will get this wonderful piece. And now we're going to take our fern and we're going to stamp it. Oh, I forgot to show you the colors we're using today. We're going to be using Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz, Gorgeous Grape, and Seaside Spray. And we're going to now take the Pear Pizzazz and we're going to stamp the fern. And we're going to just stamp sort of randomly on this piece. Try and do this in the camera. I hope to not get my head in the way. And I want to have just a scrap piece under here so I can keep this paper clean. So let me suck it. Okay. So I'm going to put this underneath because we're going to be stamping off of this. So, All right, we're going to just randomly stamp. Just like this, and you can fill it in however you want. There's really no rhyme or reason, no wrong way, right way. And as you can see, some of it's gonna get covered up by that circle anyway, so I just like to get it as full as I can. This probably isn't necessary, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So there we go, simple, right? And then we are going to take our little other white piece and cut, or not cut, we're going to stamp the circle. We're gonna do that in the Seaside Spray. Just like that. And that will get die cut with just a circle die. I'll be right back. 
and this is what we get when we die cut it. Okay, now to put the card together, we're going to take our base, which is the grapefruit, or not the, the gorgeous grape. I'm kind of making up my own stuff here. Okay, the gorgeous grape, fold this in half. We're going to give it a nice crease so that it just burnishes the edge and makes the card lay flat. And then we're going to take our two pieces that we just did. Move this back in the camera so you can see what we're doing. And we're going to just glue these right like that. I told you this is real simple, but I think it's so cute. You can choose which side you want to have this um, embossed piece, which way you want it to face. It can face this way or this way, and I like to have this rougher edge down. So then you're going to come in here, and I like to hold both of these pieces together so I can get kind of a better alignment. And that looks about good right there. Okay, and then we'll line this piece up next to that one. Okay, so far, so good. Then we're going to take this piece and just kind of hold it back there for a minute because now we're going to stamp our, um, we are going to stamp our daisy. And the first one will be on the gorgeous grape, in gorgeous grape. And then, we will wipe off the stamp with our chamois. And then we will do our Highland Heather. If you actually do the Highland Heather first and then go to the Gorgeous Grape, you probably don't have to wipe it off. For me, it's a good habit to just learn to wipe them off anyway, but to each their own. Okay, now we're going to, um, I lost my Highland Heather. Oh dear. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, found it. Now we're gonna stamp the Highland Heather on the Highland Heather, just like that. And then we're going to take our punch. So the punches we're gonna be using is the Daisy Punch, and then we will also be using the Leaf Punch right here. So we're going to just turn this over and punch these out real quick. Line these up. And these line up pretty nice too. So just line it up the best you can. And punch. And then we will do the same thing for the other daisy. And as you can see, I'm turning to a side. I... I didn't have this cut exactly, but one side always lines up better than another. Okay, doing this with the camera in the way is not always easy, but they turned out okay. Then we're going to take, and you get to decide if you want the dark one on the bottom or the light, whichever direction you want these to go, it doesn't matter. We're going to actually just glue these together. And on this one, I did the light on the top, I think, just for fun. We'll just try it the other way and see how it looks. So we'll have the darker uh, gorgeous grape on the top. Glue this together. Just like that. And then we're going to just put the circle, the silver cutout circle, just put a little dot in the center. And add this. And while we're doing this little tedious part, let's take our little flowers and add little glue in the centers to those. And like I said, these were all die cut with our uh, the die to the Forever Lovely stamp set. Just a little dot, a little dot, little dot. And another, and one more. 
and then I'll grab these little circles. And this is where our little pick tool comes in handy. I'll show you this. The pick tool is just the best. So you can just pick up little pieces and just lay it right on whatever you're doing with the pick tool. And it just puts it right down there. Blink. Isn't this the coolest? So you don't have to sit there and fuss trying to find the, uh oh, the little putty piece came off. I don't know if you can see that. So then you just, when you need more of this putty, you just push down on this and it'll release more putty. Pick it up, put it back down, and one more, pick it up, and put it back down. This tool is the best. It has several little pieces to it too. You can have a, a spatula edge, then this one come, comes undone and it's got a pointing edge. I don't remember all the other pieces, but that's not what we're talking about today anyway. So let's move on and get our little dots, our little punched out centers out of the way. Now we're going to do our leaves. Move these out of the way. We're going to stamp those in Mossy Meadow on Mossy Meadow. And doing this is actually pretty cool because it actually makes um, the image look almost like felt, or not felt, like, uh, what's the, um, velvet. It gives it almost a velvet look. I don't know if you can see that on camera either, but in person it just, it just looks so pretty. I'm now stamping this one. I don't think I gave myself enough room. So we'll put that right there. All right, now to punch these out. And you're just gonna line up the punch. Just like this. And give it a punch. I'm not gonna have you sit and watch me do this. I already pre-punched the three that we need. So here they are. And now to finish putting the card together, we need to put the sentiment on this circle. And that will be in the Seaside Spray. And this is a, a set I always use. This Wishing You a Lovely Day is just so pretty. And we're gonna stamp this on the top of the circle. So let me try and get my head in here. About like that. Just give it a little press. There we go. And now we get to put the little card together. So what I do is I take the daisy and we get our phone folder. I like to just curl these little edges down. You're just grabbing the edge of the petal, holding onto the center and just curling it just to give it a little bit of life. You can flip some of these up after it's on the card, before, whatever. Okay, so what I do is now I get my circle and just sort of place it where I think it will go where the flower will fit. So I'm not gluing anything down quite yet. I'm just doing some placement, and I know I want to have a leaf maybe here, maybe a leaf over here, maybe a leaf over here, and I like that. So now I know to pull this off right here and leave everything else there, and I'm going to glue the leaf, the circle down because we have it placed where we want it, I'm just sort of pop it back in there. I need to have room for the other flowers on the top. And I just want this centered. So just like that. Then I'm going to take a dimensional, a large dimensional, and I'm going to put it on this center of the daisy. And I'm gonna put that down. About like that. And then we're going to just glue these little leaves down. I told you this was a fast cue card. 
put this leaf there and put this leaf on the other side just to kind of hide this little seam that we have going on here. Like that. And then this one on the top, only because they tell you things look better in groups of three. Put this up here. All right, now it's time for these cute little flowers. Put just little glue dots on each of those. So I'm gonna put this lighter purple, uh, probably up here. Oh, I'll put it right here. I like that. I'll put the blue one up on top. So a large blue one up here. And a smaller purple up there. Aren't those cute? And then this will have the little flowers on this side. Um, maybe one there. Oh, why not one there? And we'll put one down on the center of that leaf. Just to give it some extra. There we go. And that is our card. And the only thing you have to do then is now decide what you want for an inside sentiment. And there's a card completed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I hope you will click the subscribe button, the bell to the right to be notified of more videos. And I hope to see you come back again and see more cards that I'll be making. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.